from the United Kingdom. Um, in today's video uh, we're not going to talk about watches, um, we're going to discuss one of my other favourite passions and that's food and uh, in particular caviar. Now um, this week I've made two delivery, uh, two, I've put in two orders for caviar. Uh, the first order which is, uh, which is, which came in and I've, um, I've had uh, was for a 10 gram taster um, tin of this particular type of caviar which is called Royal Bayeri. Now both purchases um, um, I made was through a company called Caviar Classic in London uh, via Amazon. And I have to say um, the first delivery which was in fact um, um, this type of caviar, absolutely delicious, really impressed, never had that type of caviar before which is the Bayeri. And yeah, it's um, I'll, um, I'm thinking about um, making buying more of the same type of caviar going forward. <coughs> now, in this particular purchase, I acquired um, a, t a, a taster pack of three different types of caviar, uh, ten grams each. Um, the first one is obviously the Bayeri, which I've just uh, gone through with you, which is in that tin. The next type, which is probably the most famous type of caviar out there, uh, which is uh, the Beluga, uh, which comes in this packet. I've actually already opened that, had a little taste. Why not? Let's hopefully see that. And finally, another famous type of caviar, sturgeon caviar, is the Ocetra. Now, effectively, there's two types of caviars out there. One is sturgeon caviar, uh, uh, being the best, uh, the original type of caviar. Predominantly, um, um, uh, sturgeon caviar came from the Caspian Sea. Uh, Caspian Sea um, um, sturgeon numbers have de uh, deteriorated uh, dramatically over the last few years, um, and but you can get uh, still a market for um, Caspian um, sturgeon caviar uh, but you can also get caviar that's been um, from sturgeon outside the Caspian area um, all around the world in fact um, the, the, you know the, there are caviar farms sturgeon farms um, you know um, all around the world you can get find them in Israel I think we have one in Cornwall in the United Kingdom and there's some in Spain and France. So, um, hopefully, um, you know, uh, we'll see more of that going forward because, yeah, it's caviar is a, it's an expensive type of food, but there's no real arrogance behind that. Um, you know, there's very good reasons why I'm a fan of caviar, and that's because of my heritage. Um, I have very close connections with the Caspian Sea in particular. So, like I said, it's it's been caviar has been a part of my life since I was a kid. And it's nothing to do with whether you're rich or poor. You know, it's just part of your heritage. So, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of caviar. So anyway, let's go through this taster pack. The first one, um, which I've already opened, is uh, the Beluga. And I just want to give you a quick close-up of that. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And have a little taste. Always use a mother of pearl spoon. Go, have a nice little lump of that. There you go. Can you see that? Yeah, a bit more closely. Look at that. Very creamy. Very salty. And the oil is absolutely delicious. Very nice, just pops in your mouth. Now, there's different ways you can have caviar. 
my favourite is just to have it on its own. Um, next caviar we're going to sample is the Ocetra. Tin. Now usually when you open the caviar tin, you should really have it consume the caviar within about 48 hours. And after you've opened it, keep it in the fridge. I remember my granddad actually used to keep it in the freezer. This one's a bit of a bugger to open. Uh -huh, finally got there. Whilst I've used a metal spoon to open the tins, um, I would recommend that you never ever eat caviar with a metal spoon. Uh, it's, it's completely pointless. So here's the Ocetra. Have a little look. So oh, let's just open up the uh, Beluga again. Similar texture. There, a little taste. Give you a little close up. Not as smooth as a blue beluga, but delicious nonetheless. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Finally, the Bayeri. I hope that pronounced that right. So this has a darker complexion to the other caviars I've tasted today. taste. Look at that. You either love or you hate caviar. If you don't like caviar, then I appreciate this might not, not be the best or appeasing, pleasing sight to, to see, but if you're a lover of caviar, you got to admit this is such a beautiful sight. Just before we go on, kind of another little taste of that. I do like this the Bay Area for some reason. I prefer this to the others in this pack. So yeah, not bad whatsoever. Now, the price of this was fifty-two pounds, including delivery. So you get. Three different types of caviar, weighing 10 grams a piece. They come in separate tins. And the good thing about these taster packs is that if you want to explore the different types of caviars out there, there's no other, better, better way than getting a taster pack. That way you can assess the different types of caviars out there and ultimately which one 
you know suits you best and which one you're gonna enjoy the most um so yeah not a bad little purchase um and i'll be looking to maybe perhaps get some more different types of caviar from this particular company and um might even share more reviews with you obviously something different to the norm um so t today's video was not about watch uh, a watch a particular type of watch albeit let's do a wristwatch check today i'm wearing a tiger concept and i will do a review on this at some point it's a submariner homage um affordable uh, comes with a really nice bracelet and looks great with a NATO. Uh, no date, complication. I think it's got a Miyota movement. Um, yeah, it's a good watch and I'll be doing a review on this soon. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, let me know what you think. Um, do you like caviar? Do you share your passion? Do you share the same passion for caviar that I do? Uh, what types of caviar do you recommend, especially if you're based in the UK? Where do you think I should be uh, looking to buy caviar from? Um, and yeah, have you got any alternative recommendations? Not just sturgeon caviar, but obviously caviar substitutes as well. There's some great substitutes out there. Um, in the main, admittedly, I've only had lumpfish caviar, which, you know, like any other type of food, it depends really where you get it from. Um, some some manufacturers produce nice lumpage caviar and some some don't. But if you've got any recommendations for a good caviar substitute out there, please let me know. Um, tell me what you think. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please press like and f feel free to subscribe to the channel. I uh, hope to catch up with you soon. Take care.